Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECM WF extended model for today's second video. This is your 30 day extended European outlook, and I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video released today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. It's a 10 to 14 day with all other rate features on the way later on today as well. Please like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. So much, everybody, for doing that for Gab's weather vid. Thank you so much, everyone. And thank you so much to ECM WF. Int for supplying the charts and the data as well, by the way. Uh, right, okay, let's start off with the week one being sea level pressure anomaly taking us from the 29th of July to the 5th of August. So, the next week or this week, we'll have low pressure in the North Atlantic and across the far northeast of Europe into the northwest of Russia. There's some sort of a ridge sitting around Denmark and into parts of Scandinavia and then just lower pressure really through here but most of that is probably going to be heat lows. 500 millibar height anomaly from the Arctic and the North Pole view down looks like that. Low pressure in the Atlantic around Greenland, Iceland and a trough across the northwest of uh, Russia, North East of Europe. Then a ridge is extending through the western side of Europe and that ridge brings the wind up from a southerly <coughs> I was right from a southerly or a southwesterly direction. So we see a bit of a southwest northeast split with the temperature anomaly this week, generally quite cool in the northeast, and that includes large portions of Scandinavia down into uh, eastern Germany and Poland, then eastwards to Ukraine, up to uh, the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia, and Lithuania, and into the west of Russia as well. In those areas, see the temperature anomaly around 1 to 3 degrees below average. But across Western Europe, it's a much warmer scene. So we've seen significantly above average temperature anomaly through the Western Europe, anywhere from Germany westwards, really, into the low countries, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands. And then into the UK and Ireland, we see the temperature of around uh, 1 to 3 degrees above average. Some parts of France, Spain, Portugal, up to 3 to 6 degrees above average. So a very hot scene, really. Across the west and southwest Europe, but cooler in the northeast. As far as precipitation is concerned this week, well, we see some thunderstorms around Spain and Portugal, somewhat unusually for the time of year, but the central bowl of the bed looks mainly dry from eastern Spain right way to Greece and Turkey, actually, over in the eastern portion. Thunderstorms through Germany and France bring some above average rainfall there, but it's dry over north from the UK and Ireland, which are below countries. And into northern Germany, much of Poland, Denmark, and southern parts of uh, Norway and Sweden, all coming out drier than average. Though it is wetter in the northeast, around the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania, down to Belarus, we see some above average rainfall there. Week two will be the 5th to the 12th of August, looking more unsettled across the northwest of Europe with low pressure back in business and uh, potentially starting to bring the wind back in off the Atlantic as well. 500 millibar heights looking like this. So that shows the ridge shifting more towards the eastern, southeastern part of Europe with the trough in the North Atlantic into northwest of Europe and the jet stream of wind flow doing something a little bit like that. So the warmest weather is in the east and southeast, but coolest, most unsettled weather will be in the northwest. Temperature anomalies show up quite nicely, so we see the hottest temperature anomalies shifting more towards the eastern side of Europe, around the Baltic, um, around the uh, Balearic, what am I talking about, around the uh, Balkans. <laughs> Sorry, everyone, I'm not really with it today. I'm not feeling very well. Around the Balkans, we got very yet, didn't we? <laughs> I get, just to show I know I jog, jog through Balearics there. Baltic there, okay. <laughs> no, around the Balkans, it's uh, above average. About extends northwards up to parts of Poland as well. Western portions of Europe are looking cooler, particularly Ireland, down through the UK to France and some parts of Western uh, Spain, Portugal. <coughs> Sorry again, everybody. And then the central bowl of bed is above average, and most parts of Europe actually rather above average next week. Precipitation looks like that, so more unsettled in the northwest, going wetter than average into uh, the UK, Ireland, far west of France, 
and then up to uh, Norway as well. It's a drier scene for many of these southern, eastern and southeastern portions of Europe. Week 3 will be the 12th to the 19th of August. More changes. High pressure then in the Atlantic starting to ridge into Western Europe. Lower pressure is in the north and in the eastern portion of the Europe this time. 500 millibar heights look like that. So we get plenty of low pressure around Greenland and Iceland. High pressure down to Spain, Portugal. Proper westerly flow then coming across the Atlantic into Europe. Temperature now is looking rather cool in the west of the northwest. So Ireland, the UK, um, France into the low country, Germany, southern parts of uh, Norway and Sweden, and probably Denmark too, coming out uh, a little bit cooler than average. But warmth again is in the eastern, southeast portion of Europe, and pretty much of the Mediterranean. Above temp above average temperatures are seen there. Uh, precipitation is rather wet in the far north around Norway and in Scandinavia, but drier in the southwest. This is a weakening signal, though, as you expect three weeks out. Week 4 is the 19th, 26th of August, so low pressure back around Iceland and Greenland again, and down towards the far south. Um, maybe bring a westerly flow through, although that's a little bit inconclusive. 500 millibar heights with below average heights around Green Iceland, above average heights to west southwest, and the wind flow gesturing coming off the Atlantic like that. Temperature anomalies are a little bit above average in the far western, northwestern portion of Europe, especially around Ireland and the UK, possibly go down in parts of France as well. Much of Mediterranean, warmer than average, and many eastern, southeastern portions of Europe around 1 to 3 degrees above normal through there as well. So, coolest in the northwest, westest in the, um, coolest in the northwest, warmest in the southeast. And uh, precipitation uh, looks like this, so it's drier than average over towards the Black Sea and back towards the Balkans. And it's wetter than average in the far uh, north and northwest, probably a weak signal though. Right, that's your 30 day look ahead done, but let's go for weeks 5 or 6 data before we go. So week 5 will be the 26th of August, 2nd of September. Not much happening uh, from a mean sea level pressure, a doubly point of view. 500 millibar heights looking a little bit in inconclusive as well, but it does look hotter through this southern and southeastern portion of Europe. Temperature anomalies are a bit on the cooler side for the UK and Ireland. But much of southern and east and southeast Europe are coming out warmer than normal. And uh, precipitation wise, it's wetter in the southeastern corner, again from the Balkans Black Sea. Uh, drier in the southeastern portion from the Balkans Black Sea and wetter to the north and the west. And then lastly, week six is the 2nd to the 9th of September. <coughs> So sorry again, everybody just looking rather unsettled, baby, in the Atlantic, northern parts of Europe, 500 millibar heights, inconclusive, temperature anomalies, still remains a little bit on the cooler side in the west of the northwest, warmer in the south of the east, and uh, perhaps a bit wetter in the northwest as well, could about be a wet and cool start to September for northern and western Europe, that would be interesting if it was, but of course, six weeks away, so a long way out. Right, okay, that's your extended EC forecast. Sorry, it wasn't very good on the video today. I say not feeling 100%. So, um, you know, just going to bear with me at the moment. I'll be back to normal in a day or two, I suspect. I'm going to be back a little bit later on with uh, your 10 to 14 days. to come back for that a little bit later. Uh, and just to say that we'll be looking at this model again on Saturday with the UK and uh, Island Focus uh, video. And, of course, the wider European outlook with this model is next Tuesday. Uh, I'll be back in a little bit later with your 10 to 14 death. Mr. Russell for now, and thanks for watching.